Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what does your person think about you before they went to sleep last night. I just created a new channel yesterday and it is called Chelsea Tarot 2.0. And this new channel only does individual sign readings. So feel free to subscribe. Link is in the description box below. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, email me and I reply to you as soon as possible. Today is the... 13th of February 2023. Time here in Canberra, Australia is 12.09 p.m. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. What does the person think about earth signs last night before they went to sleep? swords at the bottom of the deck <clears throat> excuse me um hmm. for some of your earth signs the messages may be mixed because you could be thinking about two two people at the same time um that's just for some of you okay because there are two swords and then we've got the two of pentacles here so for some of you you may have two people in your life um but generally what i'm seeing here is your person before he or she went to sleep last night, which is the four of swords here, was really thinking a lot about you. I feel like the devil here indicates that they were obsessively thinking about you last night before they went to sleep, okay? There's something about the two of pentacles here that makes me feel that they could be in the midst of deciding something in regards to you, making a decision. They're unsure about something, okay? Because the two of pentacles can indicate weighing the pros and cons or indecisive, up and down. But maybe two of pentacles also sometimes can indicate too much on their plate. So this can be an indication of them thinking too much about you, especially when it's right next to the devil, right? These two cards for me, it's definitely a combination of um, someone just feels there's a lot of thinking, a lot, something that is way too much. So, but it's not in a bad way, I feel. I don't really read this devil as a bad card at all because it's right next to the Ace of Pentacles. That means they could be thinking about you last night in regards of giving you something, buying you something, offering you something, okay? Well, tomorrow is the 14th of February, so uh, it's Valentine's Day. For some of you, it's your person thinking about what to get to you or what to say to you. Um, if it's not about Valentine's Day, I just feel like they could be thinking about offering you a commitment, if, especially if this is someone relatively new or someone that hasn't been un, hasn't been willing to commit or offer a commitment they've been seriously thinking about that okay last night and with the page of pentacles see another offer here something they want to give you something they want to give you yeah and they were thinking about what to give you if they should give you or not because of the two pentacles here and the two of swords right hmm so your person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, like you are. Could also be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Can be any sign, okay? Doesn't matter. It can be any sign. But I'm sensing with all these cups here, these two cups, seven of cups in one verse. They know they want you, Earth Signs. Your person last night was thinking, I know Earth Signs is the one that I want to be with. Earth Signs is the one for me. Because there's only one pentacle here, right? The seven of cups and rubbers indicates, you know, a decision. It's a decision is being made. 
it is not confusing at all maybe at one point in time it was a little bit confusing but no longer confusing right so the page of pentacles seven of cups ace of pentacles this three to me indicates that they know 100 percent for sure that you are the one for them and we've got the ace of cups so this person loves you or has feelings for you or has to de develop feelings for you and these two cards here the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups for me indicates there's only one right one cup and then one pentacle so you are the one you're the one who has captured their heart you're the one um that is precious to them that they see a value in um that you're somebody very valuable to this person right the four of swords no doubt they were thinking about you right before they go to sleep this person was sleeping on a bed right laying on the bed actually this is a coffin yeah but you know <laughs> it's a modern way of reading it you can read that this okay i'll tell you the story about the four swords this person came back from war okay usually before they go to war this, this is a soldier um before back in the days this is very old okay so uh back in the days the soldiers before they go to war they buy their coffin they get their coffin ready because they intend to die during the war anyway okay so when they don't die at the war and they do come back alive they will they will lay on top of their coffin and reflect and pray right so well again this is a very old old how do you say explanation old meaning but nowadays it's modern and we we look at the four swords as somebody laying down sleeping or praying meditating or could be thinking a lot swords indicates thoughts right communication thinking about communicating and also thinking about strategizing right planning because soldiers have to strategize and plan as well so um yeah so i feel like your person last night before he or she went to sleep was planning was strategizing right thinking about you hoping praying all of these things are crossing your mind right with the devil here excessively a lot they could be again strategizing planning of whether to offer you love or whether to offer you commitment or whether to buy you something or could be thinking if you love them if you want them if you want to offer them commitment instead are you committed it could be any of these things so two of pentacles they're deciding something that's for sure deciding something and we've got the knight of cups could be thinking about how much they do care about you how much they do love you okay this person in particular unless you have two people on your mind right now these two people actually feel relatively the same about you okay and ace of swords here is in reverse so something that is not clear and this is why they're thinking and this is why they're indecisive with the two of pentacles and the two of swords here and we've got the three of pentacles and one birds maybe this has something to do with um can we work together well can this be fixed if something is has gone awry between the two of you if this is some if this is someone kind of new well can we work together can we be happy together is is this connection workable right especially when it's in that new new period right um probation period unless for some of your earth signs if you are involved in a third party situation sometimes it could mean that right three of pentacles and if you do know for sure that your person has two people to choose from either you or another person they could be thinking about who to choose right hmm. should i choose based on my heart it's a cups how i feel or should i choose based on what is more sustainable should i choose stability or should i choose to follow my heart okay we're gonna pull out <clears throat> a few more cards here sorry for my throat for once thinking about being with you in a house thinking about um either reconciling if both of you are separated if not just for once is thinking if you could be their twin flame or both of you are compatible will both of you get married will both of you move in together is it a good idea to start a relationship with you if this is someone new if you're already in a relationship you know it's to the next level 
moving in together, getting married. Four of Wands is a marriage card. So are you a marriage material? So they could be thinking about that. Or should I stay married if you're already married to this person, right? Again, depending on where you're at with this person right now. So we've got the Nine of Wands in reverse. Can I trust Earth signs? Will I be able to put my guards down and trust Earth signs? I'm not sure, two of swords. But I really want this for ones, Earth signs. So your person really wants to be with you. I'm thinking about some of you is proposing to you, right? Ace of Pentacles. If it has come to that level or it has come to that stage. Well, again, moving in together, making things official between the two of you. So Earth signs, I feel like your person was thinking about getting things official, making things official. But they are kind of unclear again with Ace of Swords and of First. So, a lot of thinking. <laughs> Four, Four Swords. Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? Or should I delay it? Should I take my time? But I feel like they want it now, Earth Signs. Your person wants it now because the devil here is a very obsessive energy. So your person actually wants it now. But there are some... The two of pentacles again, the two of swords, ace of swords and one verse. I feel like they want to be 100% sure. They want to be clear, crystal clear about, you know, that this is what they want. Also, they may want to be crystal clear, crystal clear about you. That this is what you want as well, okay? Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn is your reading. And I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Um, I'm going to mention this again um, in regards to my second channel. It's called Chelsea Tarot 2.0. For those of you who are interested to only watch individual sign readings, you can subscribe to that reading. I mean, subscribe to that channel. And on this channel, it's very experimental. As you guys know, I always post different questions, um, you know, with different topics. And also mostly collective signs. But also, I will I will. Um, whenever I post individual sign readings, I will post it on this channel as well, okay? So you're going to get everything on this channel. But if you like to just watch the individual sign readings, you can go to my, you can subscribe to my second channel. It's Chelsea Tarot 2.0. I believe you can see it on the screen right now. You can click on it and subscribe. Um, or you can go to my description, description box below. There's a link to take you to my second channel. All right. Take care, Earth Signs. I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.